Welcome to visittemples.com and through visittemples.com today I am going to explain to you about a temple located in Karnul district near Nandial. The place is called Mahanandi and the temple is called as Sri Mahanandi Swaraswami Temple. Mahanandi Temple is one of the nine Nandi temples in and around Nandial area. There is a general belief that any devotee who visits all the Navanandi temples from sunrise to sunset on the same day would get rid of all his sins and they would attain moksha. Any vehicle entering Mahanandi have to pay a small fee for it and just before entering the temple gates is a huge and massive Nandi statue made out of a black marble stone and kept on an elevated platform. This temple is supposed to have been built 1500 years ago. There is a welcome arch at the entrance of the temple and Lord Vinayagas and Lord Murugan's idol are placed at either end. In the center of the welcome arch is a statue for Gomata. After entering the temple gate, on either side of the ra small Rajagopuram are two long tiled corridors with black and red painted stone pillars. Close to the compound wall on the left side are several Amman statues which are neatly displayed side by side. And on the opposite end you have Lord Ganesha's statues playing different musical instruments. Rajagopuram when compared to the temple is too small but in the center of the Rajagopuram they have displayed a colorful and gorgeous image of God Shiva and Goddess Parvati. And going further into the temple there are two parallel Pushkarnis which are supposed to be sacred. The names of these two Pushkarnis are Vishnu Gundam and Brahma Gundam. There is another Pushkarni deep within the temple and this is known as Rudra Gundam. These three Pushkarnis are freely being used as swimming pools and a picnic spot rather than a temple. The presiding deity in the Sanctum Sanctorum is Mahanandishwara and he is a Swayambalingam. There are no prohits in the Sanctum Sanctorum and this is stage managed by the temple lower grade staffs. The consort in this temple is Goddess Kameshwari Devi. Despite being a Shiva temple, there is an exclusive substrine for Lord Rama, Sita, Lakshmana and Anjaneya Swami which are made out of white marble stones. Opposite to this is a Uchava Pedam where another idol of Lord Anjaneya Swami is found. The temple has a Navagraha enclosure and a Ghoshala is also being maintained and five more Shivalingams are close to it. There is a huge Nagalingam tree beneath which several Nagadevata statues are kept in prayed. In the outer peripheral of the temple there is a huge caged enclosure where another Rahu and Kedu Bhagavan are kept and this place is called as Rahu Kedu Mahamandabam. This temple is being considered as a Rahu Kedu Parihara Stalam. A wooden Vinayagar carved out of a dead tree and painted in yellow color catches the eye of all devotees. There is a separate shrine for Vinayaga Nandishwara. There is a Mandabam in this temple where divine functions could be held. There is a prasadam stall, a bookshop and a temple office within its premises. Outside the temple premises, a dilapidated mandabam is found on an elevated podium and close to it is a huge enclosure with shutters where the temple's chariot is kept. Mobile phones are strictly banned within the temple and they have a counter to deposit the same. To know more about the temple, just log in to www.visittemples.com and read our entire text about this temple. This is Raghu Chari thanking you all on behalf of visittemples.com for having watched this video.